So that's the Excel file. I save us to the convert to CSV file. CSV. I remember to change the file. Uh, what's the type into CSV? Sometimes automatically. Sometimes you have to change it manually. Uh, I'm going to put it uh, into number three again, so I can use it here. Uh, enter. Does that, that's okay. It's just an Excel warning. Say you are saving an Excel file into a text file. Okay, then quit Excel. Do not save. Uh, double check. Yes, now see, I have the CSV file here now. There now. So you probably have done this. So, okay, and then I say this time I should be able to read into R. Uh, let me, uh, uh, that's a reading file. Uh, run this. Okay, see, I now I have the sunflower file here. Yeah. So, the first column is stripe, second column is seeds. Uh, do some plotting here. Plot sunflower. The first one is called. Let me see whether I want to click this. Oh, yeah. See, the uh, first one called stripes, the second one called seeds. So, stripes over sunflower seeds. And then I say y label equal uh, y label will be which one stripes. What? Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Y will be thank you. Uh, And x label equals seeds. Oh. Sometimes it's a uh, this automatic code. Sometimes are annoying. <laughs> yeah. Uh, main will be sunflower data. Uh, okay. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, that's basically this is a, a scatter plot. Uh, let me change the type equal to line. This time it will plot out as a line. Yeah, now it's plotting out as a line. So okay, uh, you can also add a color here. Uh, if it uh, if the if your window is too narrow, sometimes it's hard to see when you type it way out of the, your range. You can uh, basically start from a new line. So as long each each line will end with a semicolon. So if you don't type a semicolon, it's going to think you are continuing on the same line. So color equal red. Now I'm going to run this code again. See now it's red. Uh, control. 